Hello everyone. This is your angelic guidance for the last week of July. Very interesting energies going on, especially after the full moon on Friday. Very intense energies, which means it does bring us purpose and extra energy, extra physical energy and mental capacity. But it also brings in an energy that is heavy and that makes us feel tense and unable to cope. So be very aware of your stress levels at this stage and your need for support. Unfortunately, this also comes with the, the feeling that you might not be supported and that the friends that you really need right now is unavailable and that you start feeling unwanted. So keep balancing that in yourself and always check how wanted you are to yourself. How much do you celebrate yourself, acknowledge yourself and accept yourself on all levels of your being? So take care of that. There is a need to ask for help and support in some way, even if it is for a healing therapy or like going for a to a psychologist or anything that you might feel that you need to allow help but to help yourself so it's not actually allowing saving but allowing support and guidance to help you save yourself and guide yourself so that there is that energy so if you've been walking around for a feeling for a week or two that you you might want to contact somebody a healer or like I say, a therapist or somebody, act on it this week. It's really needed to let it come to a head. Otherwise, the negative might spiral out of control. So look at everything that you do to allow balance in your life. And then a very important message this week is from Archangel Hafrael. Change direction. I've been... Having so many clients that have lost people, not just due to COVID, but all kinds of ways that people are crossing over. It's like major, whereas my, my sessions are usually balanced, you know, these the crossing over sessions and these the life guidance sessions. And of course, the crossing over sessions are much heavier for me, in a way, on my energy, more taxing. Uh, because I, I join with the emotions of the person and the, the soul on the other side. And lately it's just been so much of that, that I'm struggling to deal with it. And I have to pull back and say to myself, how do I heal myself? How do I allow the balance? Because it's not that I want to not feel. It's just that I have to balance it with also with nurturing and, and helping myself. So I'm really glad we started with yoga again today. Whereas before there has been lots of excuses. And we're still in the excuse mode. So watch that. Because remember it's still about the victim. So we make excuses to hold us, ourselves in the victim space. But a very important message. Surrounding the changing direction. Is not necessarily for you personally. But it's going to affect us all in a personal way as well. Because everybody is saying, when will things go back to normal? But it might not. The whole thing about living on earth is the change, the evolution, the flow, the, the growing, the expansion. Things won't go back. We, we won't go back to what was. We will not be the same as we were before, not with everything we've been through, everything we've learned, the wisdom gained, and the world has changed. And we need to look at the world in a different way. But what Archangel Hafriel is coming to show us is to also allow ourselves to mourn that. And that's why I also brought in the, the medium sessions, because with death, and as I write in my book as well, you don't just mourn the death of the person. You mourn the death of who you were when that person were in your life. Because you can't go on like that. You have to sort of build a new you. Find the new truth of you in the space where that person isn't physically present. 
So, and we often don't allow ourselves to mourn for what was, what we had, what we miss. And it's the same with the changes in the world right now. How do we mourn that what was so that we can let it go? Because it's not easy on the physical body or on our mental bodies to just say, okay, it's done, let's move on, because that's suppressing. So all of this surrender and trust that we've been working on for a couple of years now is, is sort of coming to, to a point where we have to see that it's on so many different levels. And also how our bodies are getting stuck in the fear of having to let go. And that's why it, we need to mourn where we were and who we were to let that go. Where we could be in control, where we could plan, where we could dictate, where we could say, this is what I'm going to build and I build it. But now it's about flexibility. And even in the yoga this morning, the angels guided me to do more exercises to help us be more flexible in our necks and our shoulders and our hips because we're going getting stuck in that fear and we don't want to move and that's why we had a couple of weeks of downtime where we didn't want to do too much and we didn't want to commit so it's really about being aware where you are flexible to flow so that life is easier Allowing the flow and the freedom of surrendering that you don't have to be in control. So, very important. Allow yourself to mourn what was. And especially to those who have lost loved ones, who have allowed them to pass over to their highest state of being. Of course you're allowed to mourn. Of course we are glad for where they are. But you need to conclude that which was so that you can give rebirth to yourself and your new world. Another thing that I want to bring up for this week, which I've seen coming in a bit already last week, but it's sort of coming to a head as well this week, is the victim mode of feeling done in. <laughs> And where we need to see where people are taking advantage of us. So I saw that coming in last week with my mother and other people. And now with me today as well, I see a, a company trying to take advantage of me. So where do we stand up? Even like with friends, where, we, where do we say, but th this is the boundary. I'm not going to allow this. And remember then, you must also be aware of where you are taking advantage of other people. From the frame of reference that you are feeling desperate or vulnerable. So it's still part of the victim mode that we're shifting. And we're shifting it by making other decisions. Acting in a different way. Not attacking, attacking but just gently guiding them to say, but this doesn't feel fair to me. Let's talk about this. So be very aware of that. So many people are so stuck. <coughs> sorry, in the negative of what is being done to them and this crazy world. But who are you within it? How are you the opposite of that? So this week, <coughs> stuck energy in the throat, lots of communication needed. And this week is all about purple. So any kind of, of purple that you feel attracted to, I'm always connected to the Star of David and, and Metatron's Cube. So this is a very powerful crystal for me. And then symbols. This is my symbol that was given to me by Lord Melchizedek. And this is the galactic butterfly, which reminds us that we need to treat others as we want to, want to be treated. That we are a cosmic family. And also to remember that the other might be you. So treat the other person as you would like to be treated. And very needed at this time where we are feeling neglected, not remembered, not supported, and that people are taking advantage. So just come back to yourself. Take time for yoga, meditation, go for walks or long bath and just... Find that balance of peace within you. Archangel, 
Metatron taught me last night, everything is our choice. And it's your choice whether you invite peace. And if you don't invite it, you're not opening the gate. You must choose to want it. So think about that. I'm sending you all lots of love and I'll see you in the new month. Bye guys.